Why do we need this? That's a good thing. It wacky on the wacky. <laughs> I feel wacky. I got me a new hat. Think safety. So it's like one of these after another. What? I'm just talking to the camera all the way across somehow. I just came across that. Tim's doing here. Shoes. So you're barefoot, huh? Barefoot. Not pregnant. Yeah. Uh, bear. Grizzly, black, panda, koala. Them things were about 50 pounds a piece for the guy. All right, guys, we're checking people in here at Happy Sports Bar and Grill in Poplar Bluff, Missouri for Kayak Adventure Series, Ozarkana. It's going to be a wild one. What's up? My buddy. What's up? If you've watched my channel, you've seen this guy before. <laughs> a few times. A couple times. Yeah. So, Serious and crazy. Yeah. I'm going to be following Tim for this this tournament. I hope he brings me luck. <laughs> do you need it? I do. Do you? <laughs> I do. I need a ton of it. I could find out wrong. Yeah? I do. So when you said drum, all you're going to catch tomorrow is drum. But yeah, I'm going to follow Tim and um, I'm going to leave my rods back in the truck and just chase you with this video camera. Cool. How's that sound? You got a pre-fishing plan in place? Do you think? Do you know what you do? You're, are you starting? Okay. So, we'll hook up. He's going to drop drop me a pin and like I'm going to share it with all my buddies. Yeah. So, everyone's at the same level. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Lance is going to be his, his turn. So you guys will have the team team total. Yes. You guys have done this many times. Many in the past times. Yes. But we were we hadn't done it in a little while, so this is our like our last hooper. Uh, no, nice. so it's been good. All right, good. get together. It'll be fun filming you, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. Look right in the center. Showing up. There he is. That's a bass right there. So we are at Tim's spot. And look at this. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of bluegills. There's another bass. So Tim's found a neat little spot here. And uh <clears throat> I mean that's as big as the river is. Looks like a little ford here where people can just drive across. And uh, he's, I talked to him, it's it's one o'clock, I think what, lines in is, or you can put in at 2.30, start fishing at 3. Keep looking in that spatter dock, thinking, man, that's a good looking water. Uh, not at all what I fished somewhere north of here. 
interesting, interesting water. We do have some storm clouds, and um, he said he's out scouting more water for um, for tomorrow. So I think this is his afternoon one place he's gonna fish. And uh, he's looking, he has not decided on where he's spending the longer day tomorrow from early morning to, uh, you know, to mid-afternoon. But yeah, he'll be here in a while, maybe over an hour. Hopefully we won't get blown out here. Rumbling? Yeah. We a lot of twists, a lot of twists and turns in this tournament, brother. Yeah. You'll be ready to roll on the fly. Man, this thing has dropped. That's what I was afraid of. Um, it's dropped a lot. So you were here before and it was probably up three more feet. That much? Yeah. Hmm. But you you caught a few here in pre fishing? I caught some good fish here. I always collect rocks everywhere I go. So I'm looking on sandbars and I looked at this one I thought wow what is that and then I looked and it's Santa's hand with a wreath <laughs> that's a mitten it is a mitten but it come off of some kind of figure ring oh that's gosh. a strange rock he's, he's holding the thumbs up <laughs> yeah, Christmas. this is why I feel like the Awesome idea. We saw this one time before, right? You may be reading that, but they quality. I'm going to to pick up something. It's about 2.30, 2.38. Almost time to get it on and I just kind of reflect um, right before we go into a competition like that there's you know you get that butterfly feeling just a little bit and a lot of anticipation and uh, you know for me I hope that never goes away because that's why I do it that's my driving force and uh, we're gonna get after it today and uh, a lot of things have changed and uh, that's the cool part I'm sure it's changed for everybody else it's kind of leveled the playing field with all this this water that's been around so it's going to be who can make the the the, the best uh corrections on the fly and uh we'll see we'll see where we're at five four it's 259 by me okay <clears throat> but i can shove What you got? Little bitty spot. Eleven and a quarter. Be a little solid bay. Eleven and a quarter. Saves a lot of time, a lot of fish. All that grass was underwater. This is just a little trickle right now. Not in here, but I 
I have seen some snakes. Creeping speed kind of today. Fight him up, fight him up, fight him up. Bigger than anything I got. <laughs> One in lost from before time. That's a big old loss. That's it, eh? What's your rigging, Tim? A rage tail, worm. Dip the tail, make it look like a bluegill. Some mud, huh? It's a beautiful fish, though. The markings on that fish. All right, I gotta get her scored. 17. Was that? That was a damn 28 feet right there. You saw him? Yep. Show it there, folks. So your follow up bait to them slapping at it is worm. the worm. Okay. I need to hit that other pose, what I need to do. Do I keep it? Do I not? What's your plan? I'm going to hit them trees right quick. One more time on this side on the shade. And I'm going to go down to that next pool thing. Get down there. I got that feeling deep inside of me. 
girl, you wish you. Oh, 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 Two days ago, the water was up over these grass beds and through that, around that aisle. So it was much easier to navigate. Oh, holy. Oh, I can see the wizard. Time I got left. None. Oh, you got about two minutes, seven, eight minutes. Well, well, what is this? Well, what would you say you got? I mean, you showed me some pictures from. What two days ago in that yeah. first pool? Probably I had three over eighteen, and I had one about sixteen. Yeah. Out of that top pool, they're there. Just, man, just a different day, and I knew the conditions were going to change because the water had dropped and cleared up. So, you got, in terms of meaningful fish, you got a 17 going in tomorrow to yep. add to. Yep. And, uh, like a what's the plan? And a half and a, like a 10. Yeah. 11. So, what's the plan for tomorrow? Uh, go home and do some map work. Okay. Because we'll, I may end up up north where I didn't want to go, and I, I don't know. We'll see. Well, wherever it is, I'll be on your tail, man. <laughs> oh, no. we'll, we'll tell the story. How are you <laughs> we got some work getting out of here, huh? Yes, we do. A lot of work.
are in the team, he ain't even in the individual. Yeah. He got 85 inches. He caught a 21 and a quarter yesterday. Or 21 and a half. Really? Yeah. Man. Who and he didn't that? register for the... <laughs> for the individual. Really? Huh? Huh. So, All right, so 80, 85 and a half. I'm, I'm kind of surprised it's not a big number for yeah. I know what's what's available here. Yep. I just I feel like the bite was just decidedly off and yes, I agree. Compared to when the river was when all this was up and muddy and flowing and they were chewing and Chew. chasing. Yep, you're doubling down on this spot. We're back in the same place. Yep, you got faith in it. I do. Well, I don't have anything else that uh, would make me. But you know, there's three 18s in the pool that we spent most of yesterday afternoon. That's correct. That's correct. And we only got one of them, or we didn't even get one of them. No, you got a 17, 17. and then there's three 18 plus. Right. All right. So and then my thing is today, and I'm hoping that this morning, first thing, that I can get at least one of those, and then we got to cover some flipping ground today. So. Okay. Uh, that's that's the plan. So we got your trailer. Yep. And we're gonna we're gonna do a float trip. We're doing big boy float trip. So I hope you ate your weedies this morning. There's no weedies. <laughs> There's nothing open. I you had it. I didn't. I had coffee. So I'm good. Got my go juice. Uh -huh. Let's go. All right. Let's go. So this is definitely a flat topography. We do not have much in the way of gradient. Uh, it's different, different from, I think people say, oh, let's do, let's go to Missouri, do some Ozark Mountain. All right, is this it? Is this our place? I guess so. It looks like he's backing in. Anyhow, yeah, this is, uh, you know, I, I think there were people talking about about being on on some smaller rivers that had really, really good white water. It, where are we going? Is this it? This is it. Okay. I got to walk this jeep. I mean, walk the truck. Okay. Hey. The best decision I've ever made. Hard to work. There ain't no in between. You ain't first, you last. There We got there, Tim. This is my net for the third time I've lost it. Hey, I'm getting good at catching but, it. So. But, but that that stayed out all night, huh? <laughs> In the water. Uh huh. Look, look at, look at, look at. All right, now you got two. <laughs> yeah. We got. You got your good one last time, right? Yep. Off this point. There's about three logs out there. Right there.
these mosquitoes are awful. Just glad you found your net this morning. Yes, yeah. I'm worried about that. That could be my sign. Right? I like that size. Is that for little? Uh, that thing's like needles, man. I don't think like that's one ten. That thing's smaller. That thing's like a. Uh, Ping pong ball. Yeah. Man, I'm having a hard time right here seeing. You know, if I jumped out of an airplane and I didn't have a parachute, there's three things that would be vitally important. A pair of jumper cables, a water hose, and one of these uh, Berkeley El Chapos. Because uh, before I hit the ground, I promise you I'd snag something. A half. Good solid little fish. I'll take him any day. Been looking for him. We finally got one out of this hole, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a limit. I got a limit. I got a limit. Talk to me about wacky rigging. This is probably like watching paint dry for me. But I, it will catch fish. I mean, this is a stupidest thing I have ever heard or seen, but it will catch a fish. On the wacky? Wacky. All he right. went wacky on the wacky. <laughs> I feel wacky. Good nice, food. man. Got a good one. Thank you, Lord. Do you think he was one of the 18s you got the other day? No. No? Nope. Huh. No, no marks in his face. Huh. No. Bent my little weed guard. Look at that. Ooh, that scares me. What, when they jump on the. Yeah, donkey? on that leash. Sixteen three quarter. Alright. I'll make sure my pictures are good. Today's the day I will contract malaria. Who knows the net? Net can win. Ah. Nope. I don't want you. He <laughs> just had to take them. What do you got? I use about a 12 inch. 
gained a quarter. Oh! Stay out please, buddy. That one feel good? Yeah. Felt real good. That's probably some kind of little. Twelve and three quarters. All right, we're fixing to uh, make a major move right here. Uh, we ended up yesterday afternoon late, got to a good looking pool, and uh, we uh, had to paddle out because we run out of time. So uh, it's probably gonna be about a half a mile and we're not even gonna fish. We're gonna move right on through and go straight to the sweet spot. Far down we, as we went yesterday, we're gonna keep on rolling. I'm telling you, Luke Turner is gonna win the trash deal. He found one of those uh, commode things. You know, the old people. It's a an extension and got handles on it. Yep. That sits on top of a, a commode. I got me a new hat. Think safety. <laughs> Do you think it's a safe? Yeah. Shift in the four wheel drive. Yeah. I don't think any of this is safe or smart, <laughs> but it's fun. You having fun, Tim? I'm having a blast I'm there, buddy. I'm having a blast. Uh-oh. <laughs> Never. What? Up and over. Hey, how much you want to bet there's a basketball somewhere in here? Look at that. A tarantula. <laughs> a camel spotted. I see a black one. So we're what, like a mile and three quarters into ten? Yeah, but look, it, I think we got another one. I hope not. Why do we need this? Why, he says. I mean, do you want do you want these two or just do the one? I say do the one. Or you think we could do the two? 
Uh-oh. It's going to pinch, though. If we do I one. I start it underneath it. Let me see that. You're up. Good. I'm going to lift it. I'm going to hold it up. I'm giving you just enough. Mm. Alright, my turn. Yeah, my turn. My turn. We can take turns at this. Okay, you weren't kidding about eating them Wheaties. I'm telling you. Hey, let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. You want it? You going after this big one next? Definitely. <laughs> Adventure sadism. All right, now I can walk around. Shoes. So you're barefoot, huh? Barefoot. Not pregnant. Yeah. Uh, bear. Grizzly. Black. Panda. Koala. <laughs> Them things were about 50 pounds a piece for got. Just with all the mud? Just some mud. You have to dig them out, huh? Yes. It's, it suctioned it off. Said I'm keeping these and Tim dug in and now I still need these. Oh, another eight miles. I need them. You doing all right, man? Yeah, I am. Okay. What time is it? It's uh, 11:04. I'll say get to the bridge and then we got two or three hours to fish. Okay. So it's like one of these after another. What? I'm just talking to the camera all the way across somehow. I just came across that. Tim's doing here. But we've gone underneath stuff and I've taken all my rod holders down. I had to move the landing gear to the front because even they were too high. Forget about the motor. Like the, the motor lift bar was catching on stuff because it was too high and uh, the seat back is now just staying down but we're getting through it Watch out for that alligator on your left. Big boy. 
I know you've been waiting on it. What are you tying on now? It's that, that red line secret blue. Because Tim doesn't really know how far we're we're going. I'm doing the whole measured distance thing. And I know that we gotta go up a creek. We gotta get to I guess it's a tributary or a ditch or whatever. Uh to pull out near the bridge that he parked not at, but just kinda down the road from, so this is the process. You just keep moving it. I'm kind of doing this clumsy with one hand. Oh, don't go back to the beginning. All right, it's one o'clock. We got two hours till he's done fishing, and looks like we got 4.4 4 miles to go. All right, we've moved down, and uh, the characteristics of this river has actually changed. We're more in bottom land. Uh, got a lot of trips coming in. And uh, in this particular case, this one's brown and that was green. So we got a little mixture of uh, what's going on. Can we fit that on your trailer? What? The the John boat. Yeah. You wanna get it? Yeah, I'll lift it out. The vacuum's broke off of it, see it? Is it? Yeah. Oh. What? What? Lie? No, 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 no lie. Been the first bass in a little while. A little while. That fish only about twelve. Thank you, Mr. Fish. I, I don't know, it's just like a little white water little run. It's not like it's a big drop. It's just a gravel man-made little thing. We have covered some water today. We have been in some beautiful water today. And uh, I don't know why we didn't catch fish on this lower end like we were. Uh, it looked amazing. And uh, you know, if I was at home with Alabama bass, this is just conducive, man. It would be awesome. But we're not, we're not. So, uh, hey, we give it our best heave ho, did we not? We did. We did some heaving and hoeing of <laughs> boats over logs. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we give it our best effort. And uh, I finished somewhere in the high 70s, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Sounds about right. But uh, hey, it was an awesome day to be out. Uh, awesome adventure, kayak adventure with my buddy Jeff Little. And uh, we had our doubts there for a little bit, right? A couple yeah. times. <laughs> I yeah. lost my shoes <laughs> at one time. Are we going to continue with this or are we? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, we, did we it. made it. Cool. All right. Well, let's get back to the... Civilization. My civilization. God. I think if, if we can hustle, I want to get a shower before we go to the awards ceremony. Oh, me too. I want to scrub all of the poison off of me. 
<laughs> All the creases. Oh man. We went through some poison ivy, poison oak, and poison sumac, and poison everything. Probably mercury and PCB <laughs> and any other agent that you can think about. Yep. All but right, let's run the shuttle, man. All right, Dave. Bridge should be right there, right? It's coming up. Hi. Yo, what's up, what's up? Yep. We'll try to get him to stay still for a second. Damn, I'm gonna be so. Thanks. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. You know what I mean? Cody and Wyatt. Cody and Wyatt? That's okay. Cody and Wyatt? Hold on, man. I had an 80 inches, but I had the micro bag of 30.5. Like it's like not, it's not opened up, it's just like one of those. Alright, you guys tell me if this is annoying, if there's a little bit of an echo, let's listen. It's not bad, right? Welcome to the Kayak Adventure Series, Ozarkana. You know, Papa Bluff, Missouri, you guys have been amazing, amazing hosts. I can't thank you guys enough. Well, the Glenda, come on up here, 34 inches, you are the micro bag champ. <laughs> yeah. It kind of works out perfectly. When you use the Z-Man Micro Finesse and the Micro Back Division, the bass just, they just react to that. Yeah, I, I saw it in a very shallow, uh, you know, creek, so it, it worked out great. Real quick, before you leave us, did you focus only on Micro Back? Was that your plan, or, or were you in both, and at one point you just kind of veered that way because you saw it wasn't happening the other way? Yeah, after yesterday's recap, I was like, okay, I got a Micro Back. <laughs> well, it's a small, like Ryan Reed put it to me yesterday, uh, he said, you know, microbag's really just a small insurance policy. It really is. Like, if you're not doing great, you could veer, and uh, it, it worked out for you, because if we, if we didn't have this division, you wouldn't be walking away with $475, and last time, uh, probably 250 yeah. So, hey, 260 bucks, nice job. So, we get your trophy from Josh, and he's got a check for you, too. Right off the stage. Yeah. Get straight to it. Third place, the OG River Champs, 160 and three quarter inches, 160 three quarter inches. Lance Corley, Tim Perkins. I used to be on stage. Now Lance bail on you this time because in Georgia, Lance is broke down. He didn't bail. He just broke down. He, his car broke down. But Lance represented you when you weren't able to be there because your son's baseball, and uh, you can you can kind of represent him too. You get a high five, of course. You get a hug. Yeah. Good job, Tim and Lance. Good job, man. Third place, you can take his trophy to him. Lance, if you're watching somewhere, broke down on the side of the road, waiting for the tow truck or whatever's going on, first of all, prayers up. Hopefully everything's not, not too bad, but congratulations on another great finish with your uh, old partner, Tim Perkins. So you guys always do a good job wherever you go, whether it was the River Bassin Tournament Trail back in the day that you guys won multiple AOIs or, uh, or the Kayak Adventure Series, apparently. So good job. Second place. Let's find out who's second, Billy. Let's see what's up here. Second place. Duck Creek and fishing the bank for a little, little bit. Um, I went to walk for a day. Uh, it's kind of been all over the place. It's been fun. It's really interesting. All the waters uh, around this place. It's uh, you can really fish whatever you want. So it's pretty cool. How did you catch your fish? Um, I caught some on a wacky, but the majority of the, like the ones that I kept were on a chatterbait. Uh, just slow rolling them. Uh, Friday I threw like a, a white silverish color, and then today I threw a. Uh, a black and blue with a, um, a green pumpkin trailer, and they seem to really like that today better than yesterday. Nice. Well, you're obviously up here on stage. You've done something pretty good, so let's see how good it is and uh, see if you can take over this hot seat from Chad. You have to resolve something. Isn't he going to click the slide? Oh, he's not clicking the slides? Gotcha. Jonathan, welcome to the hot seat. The kayak cushion hot seat is now yours. 93. And a half inches. 93 and a half inches. So, anything else you want to add before we finally find out? Because it's just down to YouTube. So, I'm going to act actually have Jonathan stand up. Anything else you want to add about the area, the fishery? You ready to just kind of find out who won this thing before we get to Moyak? 
and learn who was the big bass, and of course, raffle this beautiful Old Town PDL off. All right, coming up here, let's get to this front and center, guys. Stand in front of this kayak cushion. Let's see here. Take a look. I don't need to take a look, I already know. All right, all right, guys, your winner for Kayak Adventure Series, presented by GoPro here at Ozarkana, is going to be Jonathan Dominguez. <laughs> 93 and a half inches. Wow, that will, Jonathan, can you believe this dude? You pulled it off in a wilderness area of all places, and it's just gotta be crazy to think that when we first saw this, I, I almost was like doubting putting that in. I'm like, is anyone really gonna go fish over there at some wildlife refuge? It's kind of like dries up half, you know, to every few years probably or something. But there's a few ponds and areas in there that do not dry up, and they get enough current, you know, regular flow. And I think you were in one of those, smartly, wisely, so the fish are able to grow big enough. A small pond-ish, lake-ish, if it's local and people are fishing it out, it's easy to get to. It's going to be just as tough as fishing in a main big body of water that's got much more water, but it's more pressure. So equally as challenging, but you found it in your pack. And uh, any last things you want to add, any thank yous you have out there from anybody that helped get you here to this point? Yeah, so uh, fishing this week was really tough, and I kind of made a last ditch effort to take four hours of pre-fishing on Friday and just see what happens. And I was talking to Sarah on the on the way there, and I was like, "Should I go to the uh, the Duck Creek or should I go to the pond?" And she goes, "Go to the pond." And uh, sure enough, I showed up there, and uh, Lance and Kiefer showed up, and I was like, "Gosh, you know, you guys are you guys are hammers, you know, great, great anglers." And I'm like, "This this place ain't you know big enough for all three of us, you know," and so. Um, they took off, they're like, we're going somewhere else. Like, Thank goodness. I was like, I'm gonna have this whole place to myself, whether it's bang or bust, and I was stoked. And uh, these two young guys showed up and they drug their kayaks off to a little trailer and I was like, okay, let's let's go fishing, you know? Um, they did really well. Um, I bet they're regretting not signing up for the individual side as well, because I think they would have smoked me. Um, they caught some really good fish, but it was really cool being out of the water, all three of us just talking, hanging out, um, watching each other catch fish, cheering each other on, uh, was really the cool part um, with that. Um, but it was just a last-ditch effort. I went back there today, and they were there again, and I was hoping they were leaving in the afternoon, and they are like, no, we're going to stay here all day, you know? <laughs> they took a couple breaks, and I'm like, "There's this, this definitely ain't big enough for two days. So um, I actually got off the water at noon, and um, I came over to help out and set up, and uh, I just, you know, I'll let it roll, and hopefully I've got a big enough bag. But uh, it was really fun fishing with those guys, and uh, it's a really cool series that you're doing. I want to thank Sarah, of course, for being here and being supportive. Uh, of course, Eco Fishing Shop, they've always supportive. Um, we've got a great pro staff, we've got a great thing going on. Um, love to be a part of you and your kayak journey if, if you ever need help like that, but thank them for sure. And that's about it. Thank you, Drew, for, for doing all this, man. Jake, too. Jake, you, yeah. thank, Jake thank you so much, buddy. Hey, guys.